Perhaps this week or last week, I told one or two people about a particular time in my past. In my whole life, I may have heard my parents curse less than 10 times. Around when I was 18, I was at a particular time. Around when I was 18, I went to a place for a bit over three months. And at that place, some of the people in charge would curse at many of us so much. And cursed at us so often. Some of those people cursed at us so often to where I thought that I was actually those bad names. I thought that I was that B word and that F word. And sometimes they called us names pretty much referring to us or some of us as homosexuals. And so many foul words so often coming at you so often that really affects you. <laughs> I am serious. It really affects you. Something that lasted around three months or so, that trauma, I guess you can say, not only with the cursing, but with other things, that stayed with me for so long, perhaps three years or more. So much anger, so much hatred, so much unforgiveness, so much sorrow, traumatized, depressed. Listen, at that time period, around then, I don't believe I knew what happiness was. I don't think so. When you come to God, you have to release that mess out of your heart. Listen, you can't come to God with that ought in your heart. I had to release that. Yes, I hated so many of those people, pretty much all of them. Why treat me in that way? Why curse at me in that way? Why? Why? I have feelings. I cry like everyone else. I am not this android, this robot, or anything like that. Why curse at me like that? Why treat me like that? Why? so much anger, so much confusion, so hurt. And I hurt others. Listen. You may say to me, Kevin, I have problems with this demon. This demon is doing that. Demons Problems, demons, problems, demons, problems, blah, blah, blah. Listen, let me say this. 
let's say that you want to leave the house and you want to leave out the front door. Okay, let's say that there are flies at your front door. Now, you know, if you open that door, some flies are going to come in. But what you do, you open the door and keep the door open. So, so many flies are in your home now. And you are coming to me, Kevin. Why are there so many flies in my home? Close the door. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because if you don't, more flies are coming in. And you may say to me, Kevin, what do you mean by close the door? Stop hating. Forgive. Stop holding all of that anger within you. Stop trying to get revenge. Stop fornicating. Stop masturbating. Stop slandering people. When you sin, you are opening the door. So how can you get close to God while you are pretty much, in so many words, inviting demons in your life? When you choose to not forgive, when you choose to not move on, you are inviting demons in your life. Please listen. You have the door wide open saying that you love God, perhaps, and you are willing to give yourself to God, but you have the door open for demons. Man, I pray that this makes sense. And this is an example here. So what you should do is close the door. Yes, what people did to you in your past hurts. Yes, of course. But if you keep on holding on, guess what? Demons are going to have more influence over your life. So you have to release. Release it. God bless you.